Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at Necromancer. I know I'm a little bit late. L listen here. I was grinding the wrong emblem the whole time, and I did not realize that. So, I was already done grinding it. And by the time I realized, it was like a couple of days later, and I was like, oh. I realized it's on stream, too. I, I felt really bad, but... We're here now. I got the class all done. The weapon as well. So we'll be looking at both of those today. Anyways. Necromancer is the upgraded version of Mystic. The EX class 1. It's a pretty good class. Very cute and appealing class. Because she looks so cute in that outfit. <laughs> and her animations are very cute. Her first skill is Cast Me Out. This is the skill similar to Mystic. We are upon casting it. You get a boost depending on how much MP you have. Each turn, you get up to defense, attack, DATA, and debuff resistance increased at the cost of 3 MP at the end of each turn. If you do not have 3 MP at the end of your turn, you will suffer debuffs that last one turn, which consists of attack, defense, DATA, and debuff resistance. The first skill is Moon Shadow, which is a conversion. You convert your charge bar to MP. I believe the conversion rate is every 10% you get um, 3 MP. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's like, maybe that's with the class weapon, but I think it's like something like that, something close to it. <clears throat> the second skill is a pause of power, which is a boost to multi-attack rate and your critical hit rate, though this only gets a boost to your main character and it's three MP upon using it. So unless you have a lot of MP, you may want to run this. I don't really like it that much, but you may differ from that. The third skill, Black Cat's Path, hits to all foes um, attack specs and debuff resistance. Also, it ends your Cat's Meow, so you will not have Cat's Meow in effect. Though, if you have Cat's Meow up again, on off its cooldown, you can call, you can use it once again. Which is most of the time you're going to have it if you have the class weapon. The base skill is the same as um, the Moonlight, so you don't really need it. It's the exact same skill. You can run this over Moon Shadow if you like run both Pods of Power and Black Cat's Path. So that's an option you can run. The support skills. Black Cat's Robe. When catching Meow, it's not in effect. Keep that in mind. It has to not be in effect. So you can use the Black Cat's Power, which applies to debuffs. One foe's attacks becomes all foe attacks. Also, you gain bonus elemental damage based on amount of your MP. So the, you have to combine that skill together to get this effect. If you're normally playing and you're just only using Cat's Meow, you'll never get the bonus damage. Meow points. Um, use all your MP to boost charge attack damp uh, tar charge attack specs upon using a charge attack. Recover one MP every turn. It's okay. Uh, if you have the class weapon, you don't have to deal with that. So, But if you don't have the class weapon, you pretty much never want to OE because you'll lose all your MP. Upon leveling this class to level 20, you get the same bonus as the glory, but instead of it being a saber bonus, you get a staff bonus for 3%. Pretty cool. I'm guessing this is the gimmick they're going to go with for each of the extra class 2. I get it's okay, I guess. It's nothing that insane, but that's Necromancer in a nutshell. Anyways, let's get to the weapon. Okay, so now we're at the Lunatic Broom. Just like the Glory Weapon, Redil, um, this only works on Necromancer. It does not work on Mystic anymore. I don't know why, but for every reason, it only works on that class. As you can tell, I made a light one. Massive boost to a uh, massive light damage to a foe. 20% charge bar, the usual for class weapons, but. Upon using your Ogi, you recover 3 MP at the end of the turn. 
So that's pretty decent. It helps with having more uptime could you recovering more MP. The first skill is when main weapon, main character only, recover one MP every turn. This is really good as you keep your MP up without having to recast and re um, supply with your charge bar. Sometimes you may have to if you have like a bad rotation or, or your main character is lacking a multi attack rate, but um, most of the time you don't have to. And even more so when you combine it with humanity. With I went with humanity. Um, there's other options, which is, uh, I believe, hmm, I don't remember the name of it. Delvery? No, not Delvery. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, I'll get back to it. But humanity is <laughs> when main weapon, main character only, speeds up the charge bar. It's pretty decent. The other option is there's one where you get a, depending on how many characters buff you and heal you, you get a, uh, a boost to one MP. I have to look at it because I don't remember the top of my head. I'm sorry, but it's right here. Divinity. Okay, there we go. Divinity. So depending on, um, on how much, uh, SP you get, how much people character you have that can heal you. So like Foon Foon, um, Juliet, as long as they heal you or they buff you, you get one MP per heal or buff. It's pretty decent, but you are character gated because not every character potentially heals or buffs you. So keep that in mind. It, it It's good. Don't get me wrong, but you are character gated as not every character in every element can heal or buff you. So you may not get more. You may not get a lot out of it as you would get out of humanity. Anyways, let's get to a fight with this class. Now we're at that part of the video where we beat up our Dark Angel Olivia! <laughs> Did you expect it? Because it's what's going to happen. I kind of wish we had more bosses around this around around this health bar. So that I, it'd be something different I could fight. But currently we don't. So we're beating up our Dark Angel Olivia. Okay. I decided to take this team because that's okay damage. I brought debuffs so I couldn't bring all the um, extra extra skills on Necromancer. Oh, we did hit Paralyze early on, so that's the thing. I love the Halloween class looks though. It's one of my favorite. I want to do so case the Ogi. It gets a pretty good, decent TA, uh, DATA, so you're less likely to the single attack. So cute. You see that Ogi kicking in. Actually, did not want to showcase every Ogi, but if we are. Sometimes I forget this how the game is actually played. So I have I don't really play like this most of the time. I forget. Okay. Hopefully we can paralyze and we can make this fast. Oh. I'm actually surprised to hit. Okay. We have to get low on charge bar. I think one more auto and I use skill two again. Keep my MP up. Oh. You only get to 15, 15 is your cap, so you don't have to go any higher than that. If you're asking why don't I hit nearly as hard as some other players, um, Zeus, usually they have a Zeus build or Ultima staff. I do not have, nor I ever plan on making it. 
I don't think it's really worth the effort. You may disagree with me on that, but I don't think it's worth the effort. So, we'll stick with the class weapon for now. Though, I don't really play this class much. Maybe on other elements, but not really on light. Um, I was going to Ogi. I could. But no point. I don't think we have seen a single attack this whole time. And before, <laughs> every auto after this is a single attack. Still going strong. Their multi attack rate. Also, I do know about the event going on right now. I'm not showcasing the character due to the fact that his skill is locked behind the second part of the event, which is on the 15th. So if you want to see that character, I won't be showcasing him for a little while. I feel like it's very like scummy to showcase the character without all their skills unlocked. I know somebody asked me about it, but I just don't feel it's right. So I'll be waiting on that. <laughs> I love her animation. It's so cute. Oh, there we got some attack there. My song has really good range on her. So her, like, DA with this class is like 80% or something high. So he, she'll likely never DA. I mean, single attack. You got sleep there. Should cap, no problem now. For some reason, this feels really long. I don't know why, but I feel like I've been here longer than I should be. Probably because I'm used to running the um Zen uh the Zeno, so it does a little bit more damage than this. By now, the boss would have been dead. The problem with class weapons in this game is that. You lose a lot of raw damage because class weapons don't come with an attack skill. So unless your grid can make up for that lack of raw damage you're missing, you're going to always be at a loss. Either your grid has to make it up or your character has to make it up. Song buff is really strong, but the grid is not strong enough to the point where they'll cap autos on a... Uh, not optimal class. We're going to use this, I guess. I forget you can even seal your charge attack. You might call your skills. Drop Baja here. Even though only two characters here are gonna Ogi. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Oh, she didn't have her um her charge up. 
Didn't realize. Her spirit gain. But she didn't have it, her stats. Her um, stats are lowered. Attack spec. But that's Necromancer. It's a very, it's so cute. Oh man. It is so cute. <laughs> if I could uh, use it as a camo on most of my classes, I would. But it's, a, it's definitely a very cute class. I'm going to be trying to class it with other elements without the class weapon. So watch out for videos for that. Probably gonna start with the glory and water because um, Merg is a really good main hand weapon. Sometime tomorrow, so I did have a little delay due to the weapon. I oh, I was already done, but I didn't realize. So, oops, my fault. If you like the video, leave a like or something. That'd be very appreciative. If you have any comments you want to leave, any questions, leave a comment. Uh, if you're new here, you may want to subscribe for more Grand Blue stuff. Maybe not. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.